Greetings from the Eerie Coast. This is Mad Shad. <laughs> On this wonderful Saturday, snowy Saturday. It's like a magical world out there. It's pretty cool. Uh, 35 degrees. Uh, today's a good day. Tell you about those who did not have a good day. Those Americans that were trapped in Afghanistan left there by Jerry Joe and his militia slash helicopter regime. <laughs> At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abgate, called by Afghanistan. Along with two other poor souls, there plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them service members as well. Every day, never forget it, never forget his fault. This is deploy knife hands. <sighs> hmm. But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X is Project Notable Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Hmm. Yeah. And at least you forget that 700 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle held there as political prisoners without sentencing, without bail, and torturous and solitary confinement conditions, constant interrogations. Someone lost an eye. There have been suicides. Every day, never forget, and never forget is what this is. And yes, definitely deploy more knife hands. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, well, I mean, there is hope, though. There is hope. Uh, thousands of people trying to help. Uh, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, law firms doing pro bono work. Uh, even some senators, congressmen, representatives getting into the fray. A lot of charity work going into this. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people are, are, are working towards their, uh, their, their plight. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, segue into that. Jack, something about Jack Lang. Jack Lane has been uh, in, incarcerated over the J6 thing for beating up a police officer or something. I don't know. Uh, he's recently been moved is the uh, unconfirmed stories. He's recently been moved or something uh, because uh, he's too volatile to keep around. <laughs> See, that's how they do it. Uh, they get you in there. They get you in the system. They get you in the prison and in, in the prison system and then they just move you around wherever they need to oh he's not he's no he's not there no he's over here no well, well he was over here but now he's over there uh we kept moving him around you know it's it's uh we get to do what the fuck we want you know a medical issue so we took over there uh we took him over there and got this fixed and we went over here did some uh, paperwork over here took his fingerprints oh yeah over here is where we uh, did the full body cavity search and it's he's you know they just jet set them all over the united states and the world uh, there's there's places in Honduras. There's places, and of course you all know about Gitmo. Uh, there's there's a one in Panama. Uh, so we have we have little offsite areas all over the damn place. And not to mention our allies. Uh, we can we can just call up uh, the UK and go, hey, uh, you know we got we got some guys we want to house uh, and hang on to and interrogate and torture and you know. Uh, we, we can't let them free. So, uh, would you mind uh, putting these in your in your tower? Uh, <laughs> you know, under lock and key. Yeah, would you do that for us? Absolutely. You better fucking believe it. Uh, and we do the same thing for them. Uh, and another segue: some uh, some uh, some person died in prison in Russia. I, you know, I, uh, the significance of which uh, the only thing I know about it is really he's a political prisoner caught in the middle. He apparently just suddenly died. Uh, why is that news? Is because why not? Um, yeah, <clears throat> optics, narrative, whatever you know, whatever game they're playing. Um, <laughs> you're you're gonna notice more and more and more uh, bullshit in the news. Uh, just lots of bullshit, like uh, like the uh, uh, shall we say the the. Uh, Russian nukes in space. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, they're up there. What? What? Yes, maybe. Quite possibly. Who knows? It's a major possibility. It is such a huge, immense possibility that, well, no shit. It's like a dull moment. You know, most countries have stuff up there. Most countries. Yeah. <laughs> in some way, shape, or form, orbiting around the earth, uh, just working away, doing their thing. You know, uh, I, you can look it up on how many uh, satellites are orbiting at any given time in your area. It's fucking crazy, man. Hundreds of them. Zoom, 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 zoom. You know, uh, it's it's like a freaking uh, it's like a freaking trash trash dump up there now. I mean, that's that's the biggest problem with the orbit stuff is is uh, you know, these defunct 
uh, defunct orbit, uh, defunct satellites that no longer work, you know, they, 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 and you can't get to them and they're, they're disposable anyway. So, uh, they either jettison them off, uh, towards the sun. Like it, it's, it's like, okay, well, I have five hours of battery life left. I'm going to, uh, you know, orientate myself towards the sun and shoot away, or I'm going to burn up in the atmosphere and come down in an ocean somewhere. Right. So, I mean, it's, it, this, this, this kind of fail safe is, is, is built right into the orbit, uh, stuff. Um, there is really no, um, there is, there's standards and stuff like that, that people have to adhere to up there, you know, just, just out of, you know, good reason. Uh, you know, you you want, you don't want to have a very fast, uh, satellite hauling ass through, uh, through the traffic (laughs) of other satellites, you know, and, uh, or you don't want to change, you don't want to change speed, or you don't want to change traject of the the azimuth that you're traveling. You know, uh, it's it has to be a certain way, or everybody's just going to be crashing into each other, which kind of does happen if you think about it. <laughs> uh, so uh, you you can look in the news of all the time of you know space debris falling to the sky. Uh, they design it in such a way that it that it fucking burns up in the atmosphere, most of it. You know, because, uh, you know, uh, but it has to be strong enough up there to uh, withstand the rigors of, of space duty, I guess you could say. But imagine the tolerance involved in that crap. But uh, you don't have, who's to say there's a rogue element up there? Like, say, the Chinese robot uh, satellite. Yes, they got one. I mean, this thing has arms and it clamps onto the satellite that it, that it's going to you know, destroy and it pops out of the saw, goes, right. Um, you know, and of course we have stuff like that. Of course we have stuff like that. I mean, we've all heard the rumors and the conspiracies, the conspiracies of the rod of God. So, you know, something throwing a, like a rail gun shooting, a you know, telephone pole, uh, sized tungsten steel rods at the, at the earth surface, uh, whose kinetic energy alone uh, surpasses any kind of uh, nuclear weapon that we could, uh, you know, produce and explode. We can actually, but uh, just just kinetic, just kinetics alone, physics alone allows this thing to hit uh, and destroy a city, destroy whatever it wants to. With you know, but that's that's all just conjecture and rumor and hearsay, which is the same with the Russian. Nukes in space, the emerging threat. See, see how they they wordish their their, their wordage. It's it, it gives them away. So uh, someone made a good point. This is the same type of talk we heard before we went to Iraq. Before we went to uh, you know, there's weapons of mass destruction in there. They're, you know, so Russia now has weapons of mass emerging threat. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, you know, so. It's obvious the uh, the narrative that they're trying to push and that is to uh, we need to go ahead and get the Ruskies, get the Ruskies. You know, think about how long we have been programmed to hate them. Think about that. Uh, how long have we been programmed to hate them? You know, from from a kid all the way up to a, a grown ass man. Are they a threat? Sure, they are. Of course, uh, but you know. So, so, so is, so is Nakharia, uh, so is Mexico. I mean, so, uh, Canada, Canada, we've been to war with Canada a few times. <laughs> so there has been some, uh, some skirmishes going on throughout our history. So you see how this plays out and you're like, man, come on, you know, come on. Are we that stupid? Yes. Yes, we are. So, uh, <laughs> uh, trial by axe tonight. Um, it's snowing. Uh, me and Charity are enjoying a, a good day off. Uh, we're also enjoying some cheesecake and chocolate milk. You know, good recovery stuff. And I'm getting minor things done. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. The uh, trial by X may or may not go on tonight. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Um, so, go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She's kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. Um, this has been Mad Shed. And charity. Every day, never forget.